Hey guys, welcome to Soul's Journey. I was astounded to see how long it's been since that last video I put up. Uh, but it's been quite a summer here between being laid off and looking for work and we are in the grips of another miserable heat wave here in the Pacific Northwest. It's been well into the hundreds for days now and my central AC unit died right after that uh, 116 degree weather we had at the end of June and I haven't been able to get it replaced. My HVAC guy says there are no units to be had until mid-September. So I've got two of those portable AC units that you vent out the window. Uh, they're they're freestanding. You stand them on the floor and um, so you don't have to mount the thing in the window so it's a lot easier but, you know, they take up space and they're not really that efficient, so uh, it's been like too hot to do much of anything. And to top it all off, my cat is going blind, and so I've been up nights with him trying to accustom him to being an indoor-only cat. And so it's just been one hell of a summer, let me tell you. So um, I wanted to kind of show this deck quickly. I just got this. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to be getting a lot of new decks, but I do have a purpose for this one. Uh, the Ancestor Spirit Oracle cards. The paintings are done by Belinda Jane Morris, and the book was written by Jade Sky. Uh, I'm not familiar with her, but apparently she's some kind of a medium. And I initially, I talked about this deck on one of my videos that I did I think it was last year waiting when I was talking about upcoming decks and showed some of the cards and I was really struck by the the range of cultures that the deck encompasses and I thought these would be absolutely ideal for doing past life readings because these go so far beyond what you normally see in decks that are intended to be used for past life readings because most of the ones that I've seen, and maybe I haven't seen too many of them, but they all seem to focus on 19th century white European cultures. Uh, I think there were a couple that mentioned ancient Greece or something, but um, in general they're not real diverse and so I've never really been drawn to work with any of them because they seemed so limiting. So these, like I said, draw on a really diverse range of cultures and time periods and so I was really excited when these finally came out. So looking through them, I'm not sure what stuck this on here, um, so here's the book, and the box is the size it is to accommodate the, the length and, and the height of the book. And it's nice in that, you know, it's kind of standard paper. Um, for each of the cards, so we've got some layouts. Um, it talks about the culture that's depicted on each of the cards, which is great. Uh, especially for some of the ones that are less well-known here in the West. Um, the Zulu people. This is a First Nations people of Canada. Uh, Nehiowak. I'm probably pronouncing that badly. I'm, my apologies. Uh, the San people of Southern Africa. You know, so there's, there's a lot of cultures in here that most people have never heard of. And I thought, well, this is a lot more useful if you're going to be doing past life readings because I think you need to be open to the idea that if you believe in past lives, that you could have lived anywhere among any culture and not just straight down the line of whatever culture you identify with now. So the cards, the, the paintings are absolutely beautiful. It's a, as you can see, it's a two-piece box 
Uh, it's got spot gloss on all the little pictures. You can see the glary there. Um, so that's all fine. But and here's the backs. They are not edged or gilded in any way, which is fine. And the thing that got me is these inane phrases that they insist on slapping on the bottom of these cards. I just... You know, if these work for you, great, but they just annoy me because... I don't see really any connection with a lot of them, like Awaken Your Inner Shaman. It's, it, they're so trite and cliched, and I'm sorry if, you know, you think these are great, but I the, the only thing I can think of is I'm going to have to get some, like, washi tape and put across it so I don't have to see them, because... You know, be an open channel. Be thankful. And like I said, they're just inane and... And these cards, I, I just, I find them so limiting. You know, I, I don't like the wording on the cards at all. Connect with animals, come on. Connect with past loved ones. Connect with water. We've got earth magic and then later on there's another card that says connect with the earth. Laugh and have fun. Move your body. <laughs> it's like so there's the artwork, like I said, oh yeah, here it is. Reconnect with Mother Earth. So we've got Earth Magic and Reconnect with Mother Earth. Remember who you are. Well, maybe somebody doesn't know who they are. Maybe they're trying to find out. Shine brightly. It's just these, like, feel-good, empty cliches, and they have absolutely no bearing on the pictures. Well, you know, but some of them may be close, spirit guides. I mean, but are these the only people who have spirit guides? I don't know. Take time out. I just, I think it just diminishes the value of the deck. Uh, I won't go through all the cards, but anyway. So I was, like I said, I was particularly interested in getting these for doing past life readings because, and I'm going to switch over here in a minute to another uh, video, I have started my own website for doing tarot readings. Um, I'm kind of winding down the Etsy shops. Um, Etsy just takes too much of a chunk out of everything that you sell there. Um, you know, from a $20 reading, they'll take $9, and it's just, it's too much. So, um, I've set up a website, soulsjourneytarot.com, and I did have to pay a nominal fee to get it up, so there is that, but they only take like 2.9% of each sale, which you know, for a $20 reading would be something like 58 cents. So I'm hoping that will work out a little bit better than Etsy has been. Um, so anyway, let me run you through the, the website and the graphics may change. I started it with just kind of the stock graphics that they had associated with this theme, but I figure for now it's okay and I can work on changing them later. So let's take a look at it. Okay, so here is my new website, soulsjourneytarot.com, you can see up here. And it has my email right here, the home page. And this is what I currently have, just three readings right now, but I'll be 
putting up more options eventually. And you can contact me with your question. And then there's a subscribe form, I guess, if somebody's putting out a newsletter, although I don't really have plans to do that at the moment. Uh, if you go to the book online, it'll show you the same three options. And if you click one, it'll bring up the online calendar. So you can see what's available. Right now, lots of openings because nobody knows about this yet. And the contact is just my email again. I guess I don't really need that page. FAQ, just very short with a couple of things they suggested putting in here. And shop, I have one arrow bag listed right now. And I'm going to be uh, listing probably all of the ones that I have on here. And then the about page is possibly one of the more important pages. This will explain who I read for, my philosophy of tarot, raising your questions, some suggestions on how to do it, what I provide, and disclaimer for entertainment purposes only. This is not for medical, legal, or financial professional advice. Um, appointment cancellation policy. So if you book, please do read this. And that's it. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I look very much forward to reading for you if you are so inclined. And uh, I will talk to you soon. Blessed be.